So now after connecting your device again to the PC, you first go into your ICS fastboot package which you just extracted, then go into this OTA folder and copy out this MBM, MBM file to the place where you guys put your CID in your computer. Now after doing that, you guys need to download this file called fastboots file. The link is given in the description. After downloading this file, just simply extract this file and then go into the folder and depending upon your OS, just simply select the folder and copy out the files and paste it where you have this you have these CID backup and MBM file already. Now after doing that, just simply hit the shift button and do a right click on your mouse. Then open a command window from here and now after doing that now after doing that first copy the code 1 and paste it in cmd and then hit enter and now after doing this select code 2 and paste it in paste it in cmd and hit enter now after doing this you guys disconnect your device and now after flashing those two files just simply hit the power button to switch off your device and then reboot your device and now you won't see any customer ID error or any other stuff like that because you guys just restored your CID in your phone now if Asian users did this on their Asian ICS you guys need to flash the European ICS because that is the basis of this update. Now I'll quickly set up my device and come back. So guys I finally set up my device and first let's go into system settings and let me show you guys the most important part of this update is that you guys need to install this system version in your device that is 672.180.41.xt910.retail.en.eu and other things should be the same this is the main system version if you guys don't have this system version then don't do this update then you will probably break your device for sure now after putting in this ICS the next step is to root your device again now I'll come back after rooting my device okay guys so I'm back after rooting my device and you guys should also probably root your device and once you guys have rooted your device just simply open play store and install this app called OTA root keeper it's a free app in the play store download it and once you have done that just simply open this app now allow super user permissions and then go down and select protect root first and then when you have done that just simply tap on temporary unroot now after you have done that the last step of this update is to copy out the OTA update file and put it in your external SD card the link to download the OTA file is given in the description just simply power down your device now once it's switched off Hold the volume down, volume up and the power button all three at the same time. Now choose the recovery option. Now again hit the volume down and the volume up together to see the instructions. Now first go down to wipe cache and wipe your cache now after this is done go down to apply update sorry about that just go to the second option apply update from external storage external storage select it now choose this file which says blur underscore version 672.180 blah 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 and so on just select this OTA file using the power button and wait for it 
to install on your device. Now this installation may take about 5 to 10 minutes so just wait patiently. Well now for me the update took about 20 minutes so just be patient and let your device do the work and when the update is complete just simply hit on reboot system now and now wait for your device to reboot. And now you can see that it says Android is upgrading. So now I believe that I have finally jumped on to the retail jelly bean. So now you can see that it's finally finished and it still says that it's preparing my device so I'll just wait for a little while. So now you can see that everything is now done and now I think I can see jelly bean, proper jelly bean working on the phone. Let's first go into the system settings and confirm that jelly bean is installed. And here we go, we can see that the system version has now changed to 982.124.xt910.radial.en.eu and the Android version is 4.1.2. Well right now the device, the device showed a random lag but I think it's because I didn't give the device time to boot up so now I think it will be fine. And the last thing which you guys would want to do is go to your Voodoo OTA root keeper and just click on restore root. And now you guys have a rooted jelly bean on your device. So I hope you guys like this video. Please comment and subscribe and please appreciate my work and soon if you guys believe that I'm a good developer according to you guys and I'm a good how-to tutorial tutorialist then you guys can donate to me also. My donation link will be up soon. Till then see you all and enjoy your jelly bean.